So it's been about 30 days that I've been using the OnePlus 7 Pro. And there's a reason why I wait before I drop my review because sometimes you just need to wait and also you get a new color. So let's jump in. So OnePlus this year came out with a brand new device that shifted gears from where OnePlus usually is. And of course, that's the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, this video is all about how I've used it for more than 30 days and what I've experienced with this. Now, I said earlier when I started that there's some reasons you do it is because OnePlus has updated their camera and that's a big part of why a lot of people had some initial feelings with the OnePlus 7 Pro itself. Now, let's talk about the device for a second. OnePlus makes a lovely device and this year it is no joke. Starting off with the display, they went out and they put a 90 hertz display on there. That is truly amazing. It's a 2K display. The refresh rate is just beautiful. Scrolling up and down, even while you're gaming. And for me, that was the biggest thing. Now, if you haven't seen my full gaming videos, I did two. I did one general gaming video, and I did one on Call of Duty uh, uh, Mobile Beta, which uh, the video is off, but I can't wait to actually play that game. And it ran really well on this machine because that display just looks lovely. So your refresh rate while playing shooters is so good. And you guys know I am terrible at mobile shooters. I am bad. I am just really bad. And Daniel loves putting cuts and edits of me dying, which is what you see in most of my clips. But that being said, though, you will get a really good experience. And that couples with the hardware. OnePlus is well known for giving you a device that has some really solid internal specs. It maxes to whatever you expect in the market with the top tiers like you know Samsung um, and you know your iPhones or whatever. Like in the whole space, it usually just matches pretty well. So the device I have uh, comes with, of course, the Snapdragon 855. It's liquid cool because that's the version that has 12, um, 12 gigabytes of RAM. You also have 256 gigabytes of storage um, and you do have a device that comes with USF 3.0 storage, which means faster storage. The only other device that should have that or will have that was the Galaxy Fold. And what do you get with it? Now, the experience there is just truly phenomenal. It's smooth, fast, efficient, all the way through. Your gaming, your regular experience. And my day-to-day -day using this device has just been really, really nice. Can't complain about it. Uh, again, I've been using the Nebula Blue for a while. Switched over, of course, to this lovely almond color and you get that general experience and all for a price that's only for that what i just talked about which sounds really awesome for only 750. like think about it that's the kind of offer that i really like now a lot of people would pick certain things and say you know a lot of people talked about the camera early and that's not the only thing that makes a device i like the wholeness of a device and there are certain things yes that i don't like you know when it comes to the lack of a headphone jack but that new OnePlus Bullet Wireless um, um, headphones, they're really good. They're really good, but you're going to spend more money to use them. I do like the sound signature on the new Bullet Wireless. I think they've gotten a really good job in creating a sound signature that is really well balanced, that gives you some nice audio and something most people will go, wow, this is really nice. This actually works well with a, a, an Android smartphone. Plus the easy connectivity and some of the cool features where it's got the magnetic uh, locks to bring each earbud together. You pull them away, it actually turns the earbuds on. That's really cool. That's a nice, cool feature. But those are the things that add to the OnePlus 7 brand. You're going, okay, what have you experienced day to day? First, I'll say battery life, really good really, really good, 4,000 milliamp battery. Um, and again, OnePlus has really stayed steady with that. I think having a closer to stock version of Android, really smooth operating system with Oxygen OS, you get something that feels just really good. I've had no issues with the device. I know some people have had issues, they've stated it, but I've had none on the two devices I have. So I'll just put it that way for you. Now, charging of course is great. You know, warp charges, whew, it's fast, it's efficient, um, and people like me who like wireless charging, you tend not to miss it as much. The only difference is, of course, is I would like to have wireless charging on a pro version of a OnePlus, just because of that easy convenience. But warp charging is really, really good. 
Now, usability. The OnePlus 7 Pro is bulky. It's 6.67 inches. It's a big device. It doesn't feel as fine-tuned. That's one of the things that I wasn't too keen on in terms of its sizing, right? Um, for me, it's easy to hold. I can still hold it, but it feels uncomfortable in certain elements or, or, or roundings, if you will. For something that big, it's not as trimmed as I would like. And that's something that they can refine, especially once we move to a OnePlus 7T Pro. Uh, I think that's something that they can refine there and give me something just a little bit much better on the fit and feel. Now, you've got three cameras at the back, you know. The flexibility of cameras and smartphones is great. Some people say you just won't need one camera. No, I know Pixel does really good photos with one camera, but the breadth of taking images, having a wide angle lens to capture, I'm glad they added it in there. I'm glad they do have a, a, a you know, um, a telephoto lens, which is nice, helps of course with different types of photography. And I'm glad they also have that brand new Sony 48 megapixel sensor. Now initially with that sensor, not all the images were up to snuff. Uh, to me they were fine, but they were not up to snuff for what people were expecting. That's how I'll put it. I think the updates have really shown that and I won't delve too much into it, but tell you that it has improved, and as you can see here, looks really good. Uh, Nightscape is also really improved. I do like what they've done with Nightscape, but I'll leave most of those commentaries from my buddy, uh, Marion Cell, when we do our professional photographer video. Uh, it's taking a little bit while with that video, but he wanted to capture some images that I think he would definitely like in bringing up with the OnePlus uh, 7 Pro. So stay tuned for that, but the camera's improved. That new camera update, 9.5.7, really goes a long way. We got that early, we got to test it out a little bit more and use it, and the improvements really show with the OnePlus 7 Pro. You're gonna be seeing people tweeting out that kind of stuff going like, oh yeah, my camera's better, or it's this. There's a reason you wait, because look, the, the, the smartphone market we live in now is, your product is never gonna be ready day one. Doesn't matter what manufacturer, whether it's Samsung, Apple, LG, Huawei, or even OnePlus. They're going to be updates to the software that will fine tune things. And this is why we do longer reviews for you guys so that you go, okay, you've used it for 30 days, you've got a longer period of time. Have they improved things? The updates work? All those kind of things. The things you want to know to help you with your purchase. Now, I will say for me, using the OnePlus 7 Pro for over a month, I've really enjoyed the device. There's some things that I wish it did better in terms of. Uh, just fine-tuning, but that jump over and what you're offered here is really unique. The pricing that it starts at 669 and goes to 750 and you're getting a device that comes with, it doesn't matter what's you, a Snapdragon 855 processor. Bears minimum six gigs of RAM on there. Um, also has UFS uh, 3.0. You've got warp charging. Like you can start naming features. You've got triple camera on all of those. The camera is the same. Again, you're not paying $1,000. So you have to calculate what you are missing, getting, and benefiting from this device. And for me, there's a lot of benefits because I'm not spending as much as a Galaxy, I'm not spending as much as an iPhone, I'm not spending as much as a Huawei device, but I'm getting things that are comparable. Maybe not all the way, and it's not a comparison video, maybe not all the way, there's certain things that differ here and there, but you have to pick and choose, and it's not a matter of pairing like, okay, yes, we can do straight comparison, but this is not about just looking at that. It's about looking at what you as the consumer want with this device. And I like what they offer, and I think it's something you definitely look at. Also, added the fact that the OnePlus 7 Pro, you can get it on T-Mobile. You can get it zero now. Uh, that The offer deals that T-Mobile has with the OnePlus 7 Pro is really good. And I'm glad to see this device on the US market because we need that here. And I think it makes a lot of sense. I know fanboys want to go and focus on certain things and say, well, the Pixel 3a has this. Well, the Pixel 3a also has a terrible processor in terms of what you as a fanboy likes. So that's the thing that I want to hammer in in this video. I know it's a, it's a 30 day review, it's kind of gone off tilter, kilter here just because I really like the device and I like what they've done. And I think it's not perfect. And I think the OnePlus is on the right track. Now, they do have a regular OnePlus 7, which we don't have um, here in the US market, but it's available in certain markets like India, parts of, parts of China, and certain parts of the world. And again, that also comes with a Snapdragon 855 processor. It doesn't have the bezel-less display, 
which is again unique. OnePlus gave us a display. I even forgot to talk about it in this whole video. The fact that the display is, is, is basically all bezel, no notches, no hole punches, no double hole punches. Look, Apple, Samsung, Huawei, none of them gave this to us. OnePlus did. This is something the industry has been pushing for. They went there first. And granted, it's a Samsung display, but they were the ones who went there first. Uh, at least in, I apologize, not first, because Oppo did it, of course. But at least first at this price point. Let me actually clarify that. So you can see where it actually stands and why this is a really interesting device. Uh, there's a lot of things to like about it. There's a lot of things uh, also to talk about to see if they can improve but I'm really liking how OnePlus has matured. And if they can keep this going forward, I think this is something that really sets things apart because I can get a premium device for 669. I can get a spec'd out premium device for 750. Gotta love it. Anyway guys, if you have any questions, any comments about the OnePlus 7 Pro, any of the features, you wanna check out any more of our videos, check out our gaming video um, on the OnePlus 7 Pro, some of the comparisons as well. Also stay tuned for our professional camera video from uh, my buddy, uh, Marian Sells. Um, leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. And also, if you're watching this and you're looking at this t-shirt, you're saying, I love the t-shirt. I got this when I was out in E3 um, at a shop, uh, which I will put the link for. It's a local small shop there. They had this one, uh, one Punch Man t-shirt. I had to get it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Also, if you're looking for the wallpapers, use our links down below. We have all our comic book anime wallpapers there for you. This is Thunder Yisei. Thank you and always enjoy it.